Um, you know, the beauty of the terrain, um, the, the driving road, diversity, because it's really important in a game, you know, that you're driving yeah. through different areas. Um, there was a whole list of criteria, and basically we had a scoring system. Right. So we went through everyone and we totted up the scores for each. Um, and Colorado came out on top, it just right. scored really highly in a lot of categories. Um, but interestingly, we went, we re revisited that scoring system for Horizon 2. Yeah. And right below Colorado, was the south of France and then the north of Italy. Might have been the other way around, but basically they were two and three. Yeah. And looking at it this time, knowing what we could do on Xbox One, we could build a bigger world, we've got more power. We said, these countries are actually adjacent, they're right next to each other. We could just draw a line around both of them yeah. and build them into the, the uh, Xbox One game. And that's exactly what we did. Combined, their scores were, were through the roof, you know, so it was the perfect choice. Okay, so when you when you actually start building the world, I guess you're looking at Northern Italy, you're looking at the south of France, you have a, you know, you could window a map of the world on that area. Yeah, yeah. And then what's the next step, you know, because so, you can't put everything in, right? But Absolutely, absolutely. And yeah, that box that you're describing was huge, you know, hundreds yeah. and hundreds and hundreds of square miles. Um, so the, the next step is that we start looking in, de in detail at all the areas within that. You know, so we start doing internet reference uh, research right away. And we're, we're picking out the places that we'd love to go. And that list is massive, right? That's oh, for, that's a, for a wee holiday like <laughs> Do you know, I've never got to go on one of these research trips. Really? They tell me that they are incredibly oh. hard, hard work. But I, don't, I don't know, how hard can it be, right? The list, surely. I know. Next time, <laughs> yeah. next time. Um, but yeah, so there's, there, there, we, we, we have loads of places within this big box, within France and Italy. And then we narrow it down and then we start we do start sending people out and they go in groups of, of four and they'll go for a week or two weeks at a time. Yeah. I'm joking, it is a very arduous um, research trip. They drive thousands of miles. So yeah. they go, they fly over, they rent a car, they uh, mount uh, an HD camera on the dash. Right. So everywhere they drive we're getting that HD footage back. Right. And that footage then runs on screens around our studio for the next year, basically. Right. So even the guys that don't go on the research trips, people like they've been on the research trips, right? right. They are immersed in the, in the world yeah. we're, we're creating. They stop everywhere, they take meticulous photography, mm. then they bring it all back, and we literally spend weeks sifting through it, picking out, you know, what might be a highlight in the game, you know, a particular yeah. landmark, a particular road, um, and then we start collating all that all that reference material and it starts to form its way into into the world that we're building. First very simply um, in, in what we call white box. So there's no textures, it's just we're building the geometry of the of the world very simply. Yeah. Um, and then finally we start to refine it into what you see in game now. Yeah. Do, you, do you start with a list of kind of more, I guess, gameplay elements that you know you need to hit? So maybe yeah, you, you're going to want like a, a city grid. Yeah. Or for that kind of experience, you're going to want mountainous, winding terrain. You're going to want, hopefully, because in Forza Horizon, my, one of my favourite bits was the interstate, the highway. Yes. Just yeah, getting absolutely. up to top speed on that and run. So, have you got that kind of thing? You know, do, do you you're, go with a list that yeah, we, you take we, off? We do. Yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. Certainly for, the, for this one, I mean, we built a town in, in, in Colorado in the original Horizon. It wasn't huge. Yeah. We really wanted to do a city this time and you know we were kind of spoiled for choice in the area we'd selected. Um, you know down the, the, the French Riviera, the Côte d'Azur, there's numerous cities all with you know their own, own sailing points and then again yeah. in northern Italy there's some great cities. We, we eventually went for Nice. It's just such a cool city. It's such a, a variety of architecture. Yeah. That, that boulevard along the seafront is really iconic, some really iconic buildings on it. Yeah. Um, and I was, yeah, I've been, I've been telling people today, I love it for its kind of PGR-ness. You know, right. I really get that, that PGR throwback sensation when I'm racing in Nice, when I'm driving around Nice, um, some you know, street racing and some circuits there. Um, yeah. So yeah, so we picked Nice, but you're right, yeah. Interstate auto, Autostrada, right. as, we, uh, yeah, as, as we call it in, 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 in France. I think it actually runs right through France and into, into Italy. It's much longer than the one in Colorado. Yeah. But yeah, I love that experience as well when you can really start topping out your cars. Yeah. Um, you've got that weaving in out. Exactly. Really Maybe good. on the wrong side of the carriageway, you know, into oncoming traffic. And also up fun. the multiplier as well with all those near misses. Absolutely, absolutely. And tunnels. I mean, the, the uh, Autostrada north of, of Nice just has the most epic tunnels going through those mountains. Right. So we've got them in. Always a 
fantastic sensation of speed and the sound obviously is the you know the engines reverberating yeah, 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 yeah. around the inside of the tunnel. Yeah. Let's let's come back to sound actually because that, be, um, that's an interesting one to talk about. Uh, go again, Andrew.